Titanfall 2 Aegis Titan Brawl review. <laughs> anyway, Aegis Titan Brawl is a pretty fun game mode actually. Well, if you have a high level Aegis rank Titan. Now, mine being Ronin, well, because well, I kind of like Ronin in any mode. And uh, anyway, when it comes to this, I'd say the huge summary I could do in one sentence is uh, Titan T. Titan Team Deathmatch with very overpowered Titans, and I say so pretty easily because well, Ion gets basically if you have enough players in the same area, an infinite Iron Man laser and a lot better energy source, and also a lot better laser shot. Yeah, <laughs> that really does ramp it up there for Ion. Scorch is actually a thing in this mode because he gets three. Uh, three, count them, three shots before he has to reload if you rank him up all the way. And then he also has a lot more shields and health. His ultimate is crazy and then also you actually uh, make the good old gas barrels explode instead of just ignite. And then Horse Star has the good old crazy tripwire hazards. And the thing is, is that those tripwires now explode. And, well, you get two of those good old cluster missiles from the original. I'd say that's one very good thing for a sniper to have another type of good old uh, damage instead of just your gun because sometimes you can't really aim that well. Um, anyway, you know, why am I saying this is mostly because if you actually even played Frontier Defense at all, well, you're gonna have a not so great time in here because just about everybody in this mode has, or uh, a lot, like 10% or s most of them have a fully maxed out Titan being one of the more popular ones. <laughs> and Ronin, the one I'm using, I have it at rank 16 right now because I've been grinding a little bit before I made this video, and um. In this video, I was rank 15, or no, 14, I think, Aegis ranks. Being that I had the extra sword damage, extra health, a second phase dash, um, the sword block that charges your ultimate, and the good old extra... And, uh, yeah, that was it. And I still had an absolute blast, and it actually made an impact on this team. And I'd say that that's something. And... That that is one cool thing that you don't really have to level all the way up to have fun in this game mode, but it's still kind of tedious to actually have to get to that required level to actually have fun. And also, you cannot play this mode to actually rank up. It, you have to play Frontier Defense to get your levels. It's kind of weird. I, I think they should have just let you have the max Aegis ranks in this mode specifically, or any other mode that has the Aegis ranks except for Frontier Defense or any other uh, crazy mode. But just let us actually level up uh, the Aegis ranks uh, at least. And then obviously Tone is gets just even more overpowered with the explosives, more health, and the fact that you can get even like uh, the sonar actually makes you weaker uh, to her bullets or any uh, of her teammates bullets and then obviously get just an absolute ton more rockets from the good old ultimate which even has already too many rockets and then legion well you don't even need to pick a kid anymore because the last Aegis ranks on him just lets you have all of them <laughs> and I'd say that that's pretty powerful even though some of the others are even powerful or like a lot better sometimes and then Monarch obviously gets a free upgrade every single time it re the Monarch responds, uh, but it's still random, so you might end up uh, being a battle medic one life and then getting killed, and then end up with extra rockets or extra ammo. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd say that's a little bit more useful in Frontier Defense, so you can uh, get a free battle medic when you're... Uh, you know, when you just get your Titan in in the middle of like the final round or something, that'd be helpful. But I'm not sure if you can 
uh, hopefully randomly get something good when it comes to DPS in here. Uh, other than that, when it comes to the actual mode, I like it. It's fun, it's chaos, and I just got a crazy kill spree without actually having to um, have every single Aegis rank on my Ronin. <laughs> That's good and all. It's just, if you don't have your Aegis ranks, just go ahead and uh, get some time into Frontier Defense and grind a little bit, and I assure you it's gonna pay off. Like, even with an Ion or Scorch, which is like Aegis rank 6, or you just got a little bit more health and two shots with Scorch, and then a little bit more shots with the uh, laser shot for good old Ion, it's still pretty good because he can output more damage and actually stand up against the whole crowd of max Aegis ranks. Tones, Ronins, and uh, Legions, Monarchs, No Stars, Scorch, and Ions. Oh my. <laughs> and I'd say, I even when you go into here, you still gotta play a little tactically. Which, I'd say, it's good. Then also bad. But hey, <laughs> it's all about the fun, and not really a uh, about the balance in this mode. So, yeah, just knock yourselves out. Well, anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop that comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video on the channel. I'm out of here. Enjoy the rest of the game.